Welcome back to the channel, let's talk about leopard gecko setup and care tips. Leopard geckos make great first reptile pets as they don't get very big. It's my gecko Morty, I'm putting him in this box so I can safely move his enclosure. I'm pulling his enclosure out of the stand so I can get everything out of it and give it a nice deep clean. A young gecko could be kept in a 10 gallon aquarium but I would recommend at least a 20 gallon for an adult if you want to go the aquarium route. I think these 36 by 18 by 18 exoterras are the best for leopard geckos because they have the front opening doors. Alright, now let's get everything out of here. Another great feature of these exoterras is that the top comes off for easier access. Because leopard geckos are nocturnal, they do not need any special lights. They do need a warm spot of about 90 degrees, typically inside of a hive, and a heat mat works great for this. You can see here, I stick my heat mat to the underside of this tile. Most setups you'll see will stick the heat pad to the outside of the tank underneath it. You can see I did that here before and left this residue, and a little bit of a burn mark where the heat pad got too hot. I've had really good luck sticking the heat pad to the underside of a tile. I use the little rubber bumpers that come with the heat pad to allow for clearance for the pad under the tile. And of course, when using any kind of heat source for a reptile, you want to make sure you have a thermostat attached to it too. I like to use Repti carpet for the rest of my substrate. I cut it out so it doesn't go under the tile so that there's no issue with the heat mat. I place the warm hide on top of the tile that has the heat mat under it and make sure that the temperature probe goes into the hide. I have a second small heat mat on the right of my enclosure that my gecko also likes to lay up against. Leopard geckos also like lots of places to climb. If you want to see how I built these climbing rocks, I'll have a link down in the description for you. Leopard geckos will also need a moist hide to help with shedding. I just use a simple Tupperware with a hole cut in the top filled with sphagnum moss. Another little hide for this second heat mat. This is another hide that I just put a little piece of Repti carpet in. This is where my gecko likes to go to the bathroom, which makes it easy to clean because I just pull this one hide out. I just add a little fake greenery to the tank for a little pop of color. I also like to use real rocks along the bottom of the tank. It breaks up the bottom of the tank so it's not just flat, gives the gecko a lot of stuff to climb on. I just place them in the tank randomly, making sure that they are stacked in a way so that the gecko can't knock them over and hurt himself. Last I put in a little water bowl. And here's the tank all set up. I decided to try adding a few pothos vines to add some real plants in. We'll see how they do. Now let's get this tank put back. I just use a simple LED shop light to allow for the plants to grow and provide a day-night cycle for the leopard gecko. Leopard geckos are great reptiles for handling. Leopard geckos are easy to feed as they're insectivores, they'll eat crickets, doobie roaches, mealworms, any kind of feeder insect. You'll want to watch out for stuck shed as they grow. This can be a problem, especially around their toes. You can see mine here has a little bit of shed on its toes, but a moist hide will help with that.
Thanks for watching. I'll have a list of materials I use for my leopard gecko down in the description as well as other videos about my reptiles. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video.